Now in part A we've got to find out how much the person who spent 15 minutes shopping, how much they spent. And so you look at the top line of the table and you'll see that we have a minus 3 here. Well this is minus 3 pounds less than 20 pounds because remember M stands for the amount spent over 20 pounds. So the amount spent in 15 minutes by one customer okay, would have been 20 minus the 3 which would be 17 pounds. Now for part B we're asked to find out the values of STT and STM and SMM. We'll start with STT and you should know that this is the sum of the T squareds minus sigma T all squared over N. And if you look at the summary statistics they give, they give you the value of the sum of the t squareds, it's 5, 4, 7, 8 and then you're going to have to work out the sum of the t values so just add up the column, the first column in your table and you'll find that comes to 212 so you've got sigma t is 212, we have to square it and it's divided by n, the number of customers which was in this example 10 do that on a calculator and what you get is 983.6. Similarly, we've got to work out SMM. So if we do SMM, it will be the sum sigma of the m squareds minus sigma m all squared over n. And we're given the value of the sum of the m squareds, that is 2101. But again, you're going to have to work out sigma m, so just add up every value, taking into account the minuses uh, in the second column under the m. And if you do that, what you should find is that you get 61. So we have minus 61 for sigma m and then we need to square it and it's divided by n which is 10. Work that out on your calculator and you'll find you get 1728.9. Next we have to work out STM and this formula will be sigma TM okay, TM minus sigma t multiplied by sigma m all over n and if you do that one you've got sigma tm is given in the summary statistics so that is 2485 we've already worked out sigma t it was 212 so that's minus 212 and that is being multiplied by sigma m and that was 61 so we have 61 and that's all divided by 10. Work that out on the calculator and what you get is 1191.8 1191 then 0.8. Now in part C we're asked to work out the product moment correlation coefficient that is R, and R is given by STM all divided by the square root of STT multiplied by SMM. And if we substitute now our values that we found above here, okay we're going to have then STM is going to be 1191.8 all divided by the square root then of STT which was 983.6 multiplied by SMM and that was 1728.9 1728.9 1728 if we work that out what you get is 0 
and so on. And if we round that, say, to three significant figures, it will be 0 0.914 to 3SF. Just a note, make sure your answer obviously comes out between minus 1 and 1. OK? Otherwise, if it's out of that range, you know you've made a mistake. And obviously, we would expect a positive answer anyway for this because STM is a positive value. Okay, so that brings us to the end of part C.